am at the Baccarat Hotel in New York City. Yes, that's Baccarat as in the luxury French crystal brand. So everything from the hotel to the bar is decked out in crystals. But the piece de resistance is a $5,000 cocktail served in Baccarat crystal. I'm here today to find out why this cocktail warrants this enormous price tag. It tastes like a cherry. <laughs> My visit would be guided by Antoine Hodge, the head mixologist and inventor of the drink aptly named L'Imperial. I created this cocktail. It was inspired by the Tsar glass, and it was named after uh, the last Tsar of Russia, uh, Nicholas II. Uh, so when I heard last Tsar, I thought of a last word cocktail to do a classic riff on that with high-end ingredients to kind of respect the glass and the history and all of that. And it started there. Antoine, it's wonderful to meet you. Hello. Thank you so Pleasure. much for having us here today. Of course. Yeah, I'm wondering right off the bat, what makes this drink so special? So what makes this drink so special, uh, first of all, is the glass. Okay. So you get a $3,600 glass <laughs> takeaway. Oh, <laughs> so take So you do home get a souvenir you. Uh, with wow. you, but also the components that go into it, the spirits that we use are very rare and exclusive. So all the value is in the glass and in the spirits. So this drink, the glass is $3,600. Yes. And that's starting to make more sense to me why the drink itself is $5,000, but you're still drinking $1,400. So you must have some really nice spirits here. So what we're about to see in the $5,000 cocktail is a very rare chartreuse that we've acquired um, that you won't see anywhere else. Uh, we've tried, we've looked for it, but we've only found one bottle of this particular age. So as far as you're concerned, here you are the sole owners <laughs> of this year of Chartreuse. This yes. is the one bottle available in the world as far as you can find. Yes. And you're letting me have some. <laughs> yes. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> what makes this year of this Chartreuse so special? It is a last word cocktail and this Chartreuse is from the same era when this uh, classic last word cocktail was invented. This is a hundred year old bottle of alcohol yes. <laughs> and it holds up. The recipe for chartreuse originated 500 years ago in 1605 when a monastery in France received an alchemist manuscript for a mysterious elixir. The recipe called for a blend of 130 different herbs that would form a perfect tonic. Over the years, they adapted what was known as the elixir of long life into what we know as green chartreuse. To this day, the precious recipe is known only by two monks who oversee the distillery and use its profits to continue the work of their monastery. In 1901, the monks who make chartreuse were actually ousted out of France and they had to make uh, their chartreuse in Spain. So this chartreuse is from when they were making it in Spain? Yes. A hundred years is, ago. Which makes it even more rare. It's yeah. exile chartreuse. Exile chartreuse. The monks are all about sharing, so uh -huh. with the philosophy that we have, we wanted to crack open the bottle and make a cocktail so we'll be able to share it with everyone So you're not well. just keeping it on a shelf, yeah. you know? We're actually enjoying it. We want people it. to enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Well, I really hope uh, that I like it. How strong is this alcohol? It's strong, but you'll get a lot of sweetness to counteract that as well. But like, if you drink a lot of it, like, how strong is it? You know what I mean? You'll feel it. It's like a good <laughs> <laughs> The price for one ounce would be $1,150. The L'Imperial cocktail contains one whole ounce of the 1920s chartreuse. This vintage of chartreuse is so rare that once the bottle is gone, it's gone for good. Amazingly, I had the opportunity to try a small taste of the spirit right from the bottle. A hundred years of history preserved in this glass. I would give it a swirl, give it a sniff. I put it in the snifter just so you can kind of smell it first to get yourself ready, because it's, it's intense. <laughs> it's a powerful yeah. smell. <laughs> You're gonna get a strong sense of tarragon, and the savory note, I would lead you to maybe peppercorn. What Ooh. do you think? It's delicious. <laughs> it's very good. Yes. The uh, smell was so strong, I was worried that, you know, I would, it would be overcome, but it's, <sighs> it's so easy to drink. Very easy to drink, very smooth. It has a nice viscous Ooh. texture to it. And uh, the sweetness, the bitterness, the aromatics, all of it is like in a oh nice 
such warm presentation. So it's warm. It's yeah. very and when it's you mentioned warming. baking spices, yeah. it does it tastes like like very comfortable, very warming, like like you're like you're drinking like a baked good, like maybe like a spice cake or something like that. The time had come to truly see what goes into this extravagant drink. In addition to the hundred-year-old chartreuse, the L'Imperial is made with top-shelf gin, cherry oak aged maraschino liqueur, lime juice, and of course, a golden cherry on top. My version of the cocktail included an ounce of Baccarat's standard issue chartreuse. Antoine assured me that this would be a similar tasting experience, and I knew that any more chartreuse from the 100-year-old bottle was better off preserved for true connoisseurs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would definitely use both hands if you're... Oh yeah, I mean, I'm very <laughs> nervous to pick this up. And I was thinking, okay, you know, how can a glass look like $3,600? And then you put this in front of me and it's all become, um, no pun intended, but uh, very crystal clear. What should I be tasting in this cocktail? So you're gonna taste a little bit of the baking spice that you have. The gin adds a little bit of aromatics as well. All these ingredients are used to really boost up the chartreuse. All right. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yes. Woo. It's wonderful. <laughs> it's delicious. It has all the flavors of the chartreuse, but it it just feels more fun to me. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's not as constricting uh -huh. and heavy. It actually brings it out. It's light and refreshing. I feel like if you're here to spend five thousand dollars on a cocktail, you're here to have a really good time. And you're here to enjoy it. Yes, and this <laughs> drink is enjoyable from start to finish. It's not one of those drinks that you drink and you're kind of like, <clears throat> it's certainly the best drink I've ever had. I'm gonna have another sip and I'm gonna go with more confidence this time. Yes. Our final tally for the L'Imperial cocktail comes out to $3,600 for a souvenir Baccarat crystal glass and $1,150 for an ounce of 100-year-old green chartreuse, leaving $250 for other top-shelf ingredients and expert craftsmanship, a grand total of $5,000 for a bargoer's ultimate cocktail splurge. I felt it was a fun experience to eat it. You have gold in your teeth. <laughs> well, I'll tongue. be here. <laughs> <laughs>